we say the facts, we give our L's and our W's, right? So real talk, man. We put out invite. If y'all want to talk shit, come back in the studio. We'll talk about it. Or we can box about it too. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm in the gym now. You feel me? I'm feeling feeling nice right now. Why? Right, right 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 box or preach, bro. That's <laughs> <laughs> why box or preach, bro. So you know what? Come back to, to Miami. Let's box it out. Talk about too. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> right here waiting. So. <laughs> Yo, no, no, but like, no, but like, real talk, man. Like, if we're gonna have this discussion, we're hotter than you niggas, straight up, and we work harder than you guys. We put out all different types of content. Yep. We ain't just out here reacting. Like, man, look, look, the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> We're not. And later on in the video, you're saying that you want to box with me. Sort of happened that I'm going to be in the U.S. next week. You want to fucking do this shit? Let's go. Both of you. I'll be in the U.S. next fucking week. Hold up, hold up. I'll, let's go. We'll put gloves on. Because not only this, that's why I have a problem. Now you talk shit about my wife. This nigga preaches married prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. What up, YouTube? I am Dom Knight. This is Knight Talks. And we are back with a Reaction Wednesday. But today is a little bit different because we're reacting to some current drama that's going on right now. And what you just saw was a little bit of some of that, some of that beef. This shit is getting interesting. Um, we're seeing a lot of things get exposed here. A lot of people are upset. A lot of people picking sides. So um, that was Abba and Preach. And that was the Fresh and Fit podcast, guys. Now, I did a reaction to the Fresh and Fit guys um, maybe a month and a half or so. I'll link that below. I'll pin that below if you guys want to check that out. But in that video, I did criticize some of the things they said. And... I think after today, a lot of people might be a little more critical of these guys. And we're gonna react to Abra and Preach. This is actually a reaction to a reaction. So we're gonna react to Abra and Preach reacting to Fresh and Fit in response to some of the things they said. But like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. We're almost at that goal. I appreciate that, guys. We just, we're going to jump right into this good stuff today, all right? Today's topic, all right? Seems like the guys from Fresh and Fit are really upset. We are better than you niggas, period. People want to know our thoughts. I'm going to keep it really brief, all right? I don't have much thoughts on their platform. Are they doing some good things for some people? I'm sure. I have no doubt. I'm not even denigrating that. We just came at them for their ideas in regards to uh, paying for box. And all this stuff. Thought it was full of shit. I'm like, yo, real ass niggas don't ever buy. Even more, what I find really distasteful is you come to find out that Myron Gaines himself, right, the so-called pickup artist, the master, has his own seeking arrangements account, his own profile. All right, this is on the web. You can find it. This man's out here talking about don't pay for box, don't pay for box. He's on a website for sugar daddies and sugar babies. Okay, all right. You want to be a giant hypocrite? Do your thing, okay? Then you come to find out this man's talking about. Listen, if you we want we want burning desire from ladies, ain't that what they say? Right? You want to get their best, so you gotta earn it. Come to find out, this man's telling girls in the DMs that if they want to come on the platform, they have to fuck, and if they don't, he gets upset about it and he gets all pissy. Oh, you fucked all my other boys. You won't fuck me, then you can't get on the platform. So wait, you want to bang a girl who just wants to come on the platform for clout? And you think that's burning desire? Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. This man just said, you cannot come on this show unless you give me the sweet nectar. You got to fuck me to come on this show. And that's supposed to be alpha energy. That's supposed to be, you're supposed to be a pickup artist. And that, that's the requirement. And we're supposed to, we're supposed to take the stuff you say at just face value now. Come on. That is ridiculous. First of all, that's gross, man. That's not even cool. That's not even cool. I mean, if that's, if that's the way you roll, I ain't going to judge you. Who am I to judge, Right. I don't think it's cool. I don't fuck with it, bro. If that's how you got to get girls, bro, 
You rich. You rich, bro. You got cake. You got cake in the bank. You ain't got to do this to get girls. And what? Because she banged your friend. She's supposed to bang you. Maybe she thinks you're ugly, bro. Maybe she don't like you. So why? Because she banged your boys. She's supposed to bang you. Bruh. You ain't right for that, Myron. Let's go. And again, guys, I don't even care that he does that goes about that way to bang girls. Do whatever you want. You earned your platform. Go ahead. Me, it's the hypocrisy of these ideas. You preach to these men that they have to always seek this thing, that this is the way to live, that this is the best way, but you don't even walk the talk. That's what I find distasteful. It's like a Derrick Jackson talking about be faithful to your wife. Don't pay for box. Come to find yeah. out this man's cheating on everyone. How are you any different? Can you tell me? Now everyone's going to get up. Well, you know, we're attacking people in the manosphere. I don't care about the manosphere. I don't care about none of this. Move with integrity in life. That's it. I'm not here about some scene. Oh, you can't go on this podcast. I don't care. At the end of the day, the truth remains the truth. When I came into the game, when I was listening to Patrice, we didn't call it Red Pill. We just called it the truth. These niggas is fronting on some points. That doesn't mean they're not helpful to you. Maybe if you're one of their fans, right? Maybe they help you with finances, fitness. Maybe even they helped you with game. I don't know. But all we talked about were these ideas and how they were hypocritical. Here's the thing. You guys have been blowing us up, man. Yeah, you guys, been, you guys have been blowing us up with DMs Comments. and everything. Apparently, uh, I've been pretty decided to make a video uh, talking smack out of nowhere, out of left field. And, and, it's, uh, and it's funny. About capping and, and paying for box. And I was like, didn't we talk about this several months ago? Like, why are you guys bringing this up like now? Like, what the hell? We're trending, man. Yeah. The only reason we brought it up later is because we already covered a couple of videos from that podcast and the second one after. And this, we, we did both podcasts on the same day. The first one, and then I did came back later on for the second one. I completely forgot about the first one. So I covered the second one, and then months later, somebody sent me a link to it. It's like, hey, what did you think about this conversation? So I rewatched it. I'm like, hey, man, there's a lot of dumb things that were said. Let me cover it. It's not that deep. Okay, this whole idea that like, there's some giant conspiracy is not that deep. But anyway. Only thing I can say to that is it, the timing seems a little weird. It does seem a little odd. That it, it just seems out of left field. But still, he has a right to cover it. Who cares? Several months later, whatever. He wanted to let the heat die down, maybe spark the flame back up, whatever. Whatever reason he covered it, he had a right to cover it. All right? Let's continue. Please. If you guys want to know, that was why. We're trending, man. Yeah. We're popping right now. But then I did, as always, men lie, women lie, numbers don't, right? And then I thought to myself, why would they bring this up now? Uh, Chris, can you show Exhibit A real fast? Uh, boom. So let's see here. Uh, they got, let's see. These guys have almost a million more subs than us, guys. All right? So we're the blue line. We're the blue line. They're the red. They have 1.38, which is 1,380,000 1, subscribers. Guys, we only have 430,000 subscribers. Yep. Okay? We have literally like one th less than one-third of their joint, right? And we got 20 million views, and they got 14.9 million views. Ouch. Hmm. Very interesting for you guys to go ahead and make a video insulting us months after the fact. I wonder why. Oh, it's because we're hotter than you guys right now. All this talk about we make so much money, we're getting all these views, these guys are clout chasing. Bro, when I came on your podcast, your podcast was far smaller. I didn't care that you guys were a smaller podcast. I was like, cool. You guys seem to do some kind of interesting content. I'll just jump on. I'm not the type of nigga who looks at people and judges their value or their uh, perception of me based off of how many followers they have or how many views they get. We cover people who are far larger than us and who have way bigger platforms. And we cover people with 100 subscribers. We don't come at people based off of the size they following they have. We talk about ideas. If you think back about the video, when we said all that stuff about boxing this, it was on the topics. We didn't talk about Fresh's past. We didn't talk about him faking press releases. We didn't talk about you paying for box. We didn't talk about none of that shit. You guys are getting so hyper emotional about this thing. It's funny to me. For so-called alpha males, you guys don't seem to have any control over your temper. Our, our, our channel's better than yours. I we agree with that. You. We've been on less than you. We work harder than y'all niggas. We cut our hair more than you niggas. Like, yo. If y'all want to like, bros, we get more girls than y'all niggas. We get more girls than y'all niggas. Free. Like, if y'all really, really want to free. This, this nigga preach is married, prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. Hold on, that's where he drew the line. You don't talk about this man's wife. What does she have to do with this situation? Not a goddamn thing. You bringing this man's wife in this situation. Now you done made this personal. Y'all have stooped to a low, where. You're acting on emotions. And guess what? That's what women do. That's feminine energy. Something you preach against. That's where the hypocrisy comes in. And that's where, hey, if people are losing respect for you, I see why. I I, I just can't believe you you went as y'all went and did this, like and said this. What they said was not that deep. 
Y'all could talk about it if you disagree with it, whatever. That's all they did. But you talking about this man's wife, talking about the haircut, all this. Like, bro, come on. And you talking about hair? Come on, bro. And y'all niggas talking shit. And How old these niggas are? 40 years old? Yo, yo. All ass niggas too, bro. Like, yo, bro. I wasn't going to do this. Wait, the, the, the hand symbol? Yo, I was not going to fucking do this. The international. But y'all got me hyped now. <laughs> yo, I know you guys are not talking, bro. My man Abba looks like he got off a camel, hasn't cut his hair in years. <laughs> Dusty as fuck. Ridiculous. Yo. Bruh. And this is Sudani roasting on you right now, bro. What you, you Somali? Yo. I was like, yo, what anime you came from, bro? Now, yo. nigga looking bummy as hell, bro. I'm on you, right? I ain't looking on a nigga, because obviously, you know what I'm saying, that's his style. I ain't gonna lie, bro. We're better than you niggas. We make more money than you niggas. We got a better fucking channel than y'all niggas. We get more views than y'all niggas. The only thing you guys got on us it's is numbers. you guys been on longer. But I guarantee fucking to you, next year, this time, we're gonna lap you motherfuckers. Because you know what? Back. Nobody works harder than us. Nope. Period. We make more. I'll give him that. They work hard. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if y'all gonna lap them with the information people finding out about y'all now. I mean, yo, they exposed y'all. And it's right there, bro. You can't tell me that's that's fake, doctrinated, none of that. So it just don't look good, man. It just don't look good. I just don't. I don't know how people are going to really go on really trusting and believing everything y'all are saying. But let's continue. And, and that's the worst part is that I like I like to see I love to see a black man get paid. Get your money. I've never Get your money. I if your views are stupid, your views are stupid. But if you're getting paid, get your money. Yeah. That's not what I'm here for. There's not a single person that could ever say that we've ever Fame, jealousy, or gotten mad about other people succeeding. We move at our own pace. Yeah, we've been on the platform long with you. Congratulations. To me, it's not even that deep. You guys are doing well for yourselves. Good for you. It's crazy. I ain't never been mad at a nigga making money. This is about the idea. So all this talk about clout and all this, you guys have lived in Miami so long and you've been faking your lifestyles for so long that you think everybody is chasing clout, that everybody wants to be with an Instagram baddie. Your whole platform is based around clout chasers. So that's why your mind is warped. Miami's fucked up. That's why the girls you bring on, everyone's like, yo, who are these dumb broads that you bring on? Right? Because they're all clout chasers. So you guys' mindset is all warped and shit. It's not like that everywhere around the world. Not everyone is about clout. If we were about clout, do you think we'd be covering things like this pandemic and all these other issues that fucking derank our YouTube channel? It's not about clout. At the end of the day, it's always about integrity. That's it. For us, it's about integrity. Whether we win or we lose money. Y'all dumbass niggas with the same tired background, same fucking million plaque. We got $200,000 plaques now. And we're gonna get a million plaque. And we're gonna get the other channel another mil to a million as well. And Fresh's channel gonna hit 100,000. Facts. We are better than you niggas. Period. Fuck out of here, man. And we don't pay for box. These are the kind of like, you know what it's like? You know what it's like? You know, I, I love it that these guys call themselves alpha and all this other stuff. It makes me laugh. Cause they got such bitch energy, it's crazy. Yeah. It's like when you're talking to a girl about a topic. <clears throat> you, ever, you, you know you're talking, you, you all seen this before. You know you're talking to your girl about a topic and you guys are having a discussion and she's losing the argument. All of a sudden she starts bringing up, she, your dick is small. Like, what does that have to do with economics? <laughs> it's like, they do the same thing. I find it so funny that these guys like think they're alpha and 1% men and all this other stuff, right? They lack integrity. They get upset at the most random stuff. When I was on the podcast and they kicked out that girl, one of the girls beside me was like, yo, you're being emotional. He's like, no, I'm not being emotional. I was like, bro, like, why are you screaming like this? No wonder these girls come on your podcast and don't respect you. You don't <laughs> command respect. You just yell and get them kicked out. You think that's alpha behavior? The idea that you can't even get respect from these ladies is in an indication of the fact that you don't know what you're doing. It's hyper emotional. You're just screaming and getting mad. I'm laughing at this because it's pathetic. I don't know what's wrong, but every episode I see you just screaming, getting mad, screaming at ladies, railroading like women who aren't prepared with all these stats and numbers. That these ladies are like, yo, you want to come on a podcast? I'm like, sure. Uh, turns out that 8% of all men. Was, well, how does that have a way to have a discussion? <laughs> just chill, nigga. It's not that deep. I'm like, yo, real ass niggas don't and pay for box. Yo, here's the other thing too. Bruh. These guys say real ass niggas don't pay the box. One's on seeking arrangements. The other one, <laughs> the other one is lying about having three girls at one time. Shut the fuck. The other one, you shut know, the fuck. You up. know, you know what kills me about Fresh? Like, if you listen to him, you know he has no king. It's, no. it's, it's painfully obvious yeah. that this man, like, even when you go watch 
the, 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 the vlogs that he does. He's like, he has this whole thing, don't lead with money. And like in a bunch of his videos, he's like, hey girl, I'm gonna shower you with gifts. Come on, we're gonna go shop for Lambos and Ferraris. I'm like, bruv, if it wasn't for your clout, you wouldn't be out here getting anything. Let's be real. So I find it so funny as I talk about paying for bucks. You wanna know why this nigga doesn't wanna pay for bucks? This is his experience. He went to Colombia with his niggas, okay? They went to a brothel. He saw a bad woman and he's like, oh wow. She's like, come upstairs with me. He didn't know it was a whorehouse because this nigga is so lacking in self-awareness, you know? He thinks everyone respects him. He's a fucking goober, okay? He gets in and she's like, $20. And he's like, you want me to pay? Nigga, you don't know a whorehouse when you walk into one? Where were you raised? You not. I don't know how you could be a pickup artist and lack this much self-awareness. So he said, I paid the $20, I banged her, and I felt disgusting afterwards. And that's why I'll never pay for box. Bro, <laughs> if the first time you eat out is a McDonald's burger and you say you hate all restaurants after, that's not a problem with restaurants. restaurants or, <laughs> that's a problem with you. It's a problem with your choices. Here's the thing, the truth about this whole escorting and paying for box. CEOs, NBA players, princes, all of them, they all pay for box. They pay for high-end escorts. Why? Discretion. Expertise. Okay? I don't care how much your girl loves you and all that other stuff. If she hasn't studied sex, if she hasn't done all that shit, if she hasn't taken the time to really learn, she's not as good as other people. This whole idea of like, if she have enthusiasm, nigga, you ever been with a girl that's really into you <laughs> and she's using her teeth on your blowjobs? She got all the enthusiasm Ooh. in the world. It's never going to be a substitute for technique. The only niggas who are this dumb are men who not had a lot of sex or men who never paid for good box. Even Kevin Samuels will come in and say, I paid for box. I paid for women to come with me. Cause he's a real nigga. Patrice O'Neal pays for box. The highest niggas in the game, they pay for box. Not all the time, but sometimes it's convenient. Uh, so you want me to tell you time, that you but... working at your middle class job, you know more about what's being alpha and all this than the CEOs, the most famous and rich people in the world? Okay, so yeah, their niggas is beta cause they pay for box. But you, right, working at the company as a minimum wage worker for their company, you think you know more about what it means to be alpha. <laughs> Get him out of here. Just don't pay for box. Say it's not for you. It's not for everyone. It's okay. It's but paying $100 for a hooker and then saying, it's not as good as a random girl I met on the street. Probably not. You pay for shit. Sometimes you get shit service. You pay well, you get better service. It's not complicated. These guys talk like they're knowledgeable about this stuff. And the very people they admire pay for box. Go have this conversation with Kevin then. So, <laughs> go have this conversation with real niggas. Go ahead. With the NBA players. The same NBA player that made you uh, bang three girls in one night. Fuck yeah. up. You know that was so stupid about that sport. That this guy, man, wants me to believe he's at a pool party. Okay? He was Random pool party. He's at a pool party. This NBA player comes up to him. He's like, oh, oh my God. Man, do you know where the coolest parties are? He's like, yeah, here, here. It's, it's like, can I, can, can I have can your, your Instagram? Can I have your Instagram? Oh, man, we, we fucked the same girl? <laughs> oh, my God, we, we was in the same pussy? Yo, Bro, I got, a, story. I, 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 got, I got a mansion party tomorrow. Why don't you come over and we're going to get it lit? So the guy, hold on. So the guy that was looking for the hottest party happens to have a mansion party the next day. Get the fuck out of here with your bogus ass. Party. So he needed your help to find a party in town, but he got a mansion party with 50 girls that are rolling through. And let me ask you, bro. Let me ask you, <laughs> in this made up scenario where you're capping the fuck out of possibilities, you want me to believe that this man had 50 girls and none of them were paid? Hmm? You think that these girls that you banged there, supposedly, that you had all three, but you didn't want to threesome because you wanted to go one at a time because you were too Some awkward. of them was paid. You want Trust me to believe me. that fuck these girls had burning desire for you? Of course not. They wanted to fuck the NBA player at best. They didn't want to get around with you. <laughs> but you think none of these girls are paid? They pay for box. All these guys, these high value men, they all pay for box. So, man, listen. You guys trust what you ever want to trust. Follow who you ever want to follow. I don't even think I need to play the rest of the video. All right, we gonna cut that there. Woo! So, y'all seen that. Y'all seen that. So these fresh and fit dudes, are not only paying for the sweet nectar, but they out here leveraging box with coming on the show. And they out here insulting these guys and verbally attacking them. What, what's the, what the homie Kevin Samuel say? Sign language, shame, insults, guilt, and the need to be right. I think that's what it is. That's what they just did. That's what they did to them. That was sign language because there was no need for them to say the things that they said about them, especially bringing up people's wives and, you know, 
homie brought up dude's country and stuff like brah that's childish man people know and can see through bullshit and when you start insulting and shaming that's when we know you lost the fight that's when we know that's all you got that's the only ammo you got in the gun and you shooting blanks with that so i um i really like Abbott and preach i've been watching them a while they're they're great dudes they've been they've been in the game a minute they're they're ogs they got a good channel. They talk about a whole bunch of stuff, you know, and they keep it real. That's why I like them. The Fresh and Fit guys, like I've said before, I think they have a good show. The show is entertaining. But them as dudes, I don't necessarily agree with everything they say. I'm not saying everything they say is wrong, though. The stuff they talk about regarding physical fitness, well, at least Myron, but physical fitness getting your money right things like that i agree with all that stuff all that being the best man you can i can agree with all that but some of their talking points on other things you know i could do without that's just me i don't really care who you like i am dom knight this is night talks like and subscribe all right and we're gonna be back on friday with some advice that's peace nice, huh? Rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the gang, we taking shots off the rebound Fuckin' my post, the same now, I've been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah